Hello YouTube and welcome to yet another video. Hope you've been enjoying the Worldwide Developer Conference coverage. So by this point you guys probably already know more than me because I'm recording this video on Sunday. Same day we recorded our predictions video. And I'm just excited and very much ready for Wednesday. But today I wanted to go ahead and get another video recorded for you guys that's just part of the normal Monday, Wednesday, Friday schedule here on Blinds Bar. And yeah, so what we're going to do today is I am going to show you guys that I have gotten Guild Wars 2 running on the M1 Mac Mini. I've been running and I got it running through Crossover. So the setup process is pretty simple. First, I'm going to open up Guild Wars and log into the game. But. I have it set to remember my login information. But pretty much all you do is when you uh, set up Guild Wars, you have a fresh bottle, which I've pre done. I was messing around with downloading Persona 4 Golden from Steam. But you just go to the gear, install software. And then you can just search. So. And then right there is Guild Wars 2. And 4 star compatibility. Of course we don't need to do this. Because I already have the game set up. But you just follow all the steps it includes. And go from there. And I'm not setting up 2 factor yet. I need to do that. I know. And I will say, the FPS counter in the settings menu is kind of busted. But it works. And I better turn the sound off, because I forgot. I need to change the audio to my to where you guys can hear it. So let's hurry up and change it to stream. Make sure I got it going. And I don't think you guys can hear the game. So let's restart. Either way, you guys saw how fast that loaded up. That's part of the beauty of the M1 Mac Mini. And I will fire up the About This Mac screen just for a second. You know, as with every video, just to show you guys that I am indeed on an M1 Mini. And I do keep these videos pretty raw. Cause I don't. I I want to show you guys the full experience of the game. So as you guys can see, it's loading up right now. There it goes. And let's log into my level eight. I've been very much having a good time playing this with some friends. And it, you do take a little bit of a performance penalty for recording. It's a little bit smoother when I'm, li when I'm not live or not recording, but... Oh, someone wants to go, huh? <laughs> And I'll show you guys the graphic settings. And like I said, we're the frame rate's a tiny bit lower, but I don't. But it, it seems to stay mostly in the 30s. I don't feel the dips in the 20s. So I don't think the FES counter is 100% accurate. Let's kick these guys' butts. Idiots away from the pipes. I guess we're looking for some people. It's an attack. Take cover. Okay, here's the pipes. So we're supposed to beat the these pipe. guys. 
a flood of problems. <laughs> and, and, <coughs> and for those who don't know, ArenaNet, the company that makes Guild Wars, killed the, the official Mac version of the game back in February. And they state it's because of the whole Apple killing, you know, saying they're going to kill OpenGL. They deprecated it. Is there a reason? But, if you look at videos from before they killed it, when the M1 first came out, this game ran even better than this, like, with their official port. And so it still makes me mad just knowing that they killed the support for Guild Wars. Even though it's perfectly playable. on the pipes. Let's go across here. Oh, and it looks like I might be able to grab a vista. I figure you guys might want to see some more impressive footage. Oh, there's the enemies we're looking for. We gotta get the one. Dang, bro, you're running for sure. Better on a PC or a two G Force now. Overall, it runs great. I would showcase G Force now in this video as well, because that's the official alternative that they give. But it's not the best on my current internet connection. these videos, these M1 Max any performance videos, and I'm trying to give a few with a little more details and just some more gameplay than some of the others out there. And I'm, so far I'm very much enjoying creating these for you guys, and um, that playlist is over, over, gonna continue to grow. I've got some more Windows titles I'm planning to make videos on, including running some through Parallels. Objective here. Oh, we're zero percent. Now we go. It's exploding time. Where's my actual objective? <laughs> They'll have to hit much harder. Ashes of the past. Yeah, I'm playing through my character's personal story. I'm ready to unlock the mount. And be able to move a little quicker. Now, as you guys can see, though, overall OBS and the computer is not dropping a frame, and it gets better and smoother as I play. And I'm 
personally perfectly happy with the performance that I am receiving out of Guild Wars. And let's see. I know we're just abandoning that person's quest. And I just moved Discord. Let me fix that. Didn't realize my mouse had moved to my second monitor. And overall, it's still a beautiful game, even though I'm not running it at the best settings. And we'll see about maybe getting to the point to do an episode, a chapter of my personal story. Maybe? Either that or once I get there and unlock the waypoint, then I'll go into a city. So I wanted to show you guys. Which, we're in a little more higher pop area now. As you guys can see. Oh, is that my objective? Looks like we got some. Oh, I didn't get the login bonus for today. Cool. Pick up all the rewards. I'm just looking at the map, guys. As long as you have no moral, it's a good thing. <clears throat> okay, so we are supposed to be going here. And is there any games that you guys would like to see running on the M1 Mac Mini, by the way? You know, if you have any suggestions, feel free to leave them in the comments below of any of my M1 videos. I know I've got planned to show Fallout 3. I'm going to try Fallout 4 at some point. Probably New Vegas, Elder Scrolls Oblivion. All these through crossover or parallels, one of the two. And then there's a t and then other games like I'm gonna do a video on Knights of the Old Republic one and two classics if you haven't played them. Either way, I've, I've made it to a little safer of an area. So we're gonna head over to one of the cities. I know Lion's Reach is the main the main hub city for players, but and I have a waypoint there, I just don't know where it's at off the top of my head on the map. I'm still relatively new to Guild Wars, as you guys might be able to tell. So let's just fast travel back to the capital city of the humans. Just so you guys can see a city running. And then we'll wrap up today's video. I haven't yet tried PvP or World v World. Tavern? Only one fatality this week. Who else would I be talking about? Met a Silvari the other day. And so as you guys can see. Performance is still really well. 
So either way, everybody, we are going to wrap up here. This is Blind PC Guy at Blind's Bar. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter at Blind's Bar. Check out the Discord and do all of the other awesome things. And, you know, come hang out. Let's let's visit in Discord. Let's, let's play some games. And there's more to come, everybody. So peace out. And I will see you in the next video.